Hello friends, welcome to this a very short session, doubt solving session on vitamin A dosage in children. I got the small uh, query on Facebook on Marilyn's group about the vitamin A dosage. Before I start my presentation, I'd uh, like to start with a small quote. The most practical advice that I can give you is that we learn from experience what to see and understand and what not to see. So let's move on with the small query that I had got that during the residency, the consultant advises you to treat an eight year old child. So the age given was eight year old child who presented with following ocular findings, like maybe a vitamin A deficiency. And you want to start with intramuscular doses. So you need to give intramuscular dose of vitamin A. What should be your treatment plan according to the WHO recommended schedule? So they wanted to ask you about the WHO recommended schedule. And they had given various options of whether it is 2 lakh international units or 1 lakh international units and what about the days. So that's where the confusion started. So before I take up this MCQ, this is what we already know. We know that from a letter from the NPCB, that is the National Prevention, uh, National uh, NPCB, National Program for Control of Blindness. They had issued a letter somewhere in 2006. This is the office memorandum. Policy on the micronutrient vitamin A deficiency. You can see that the treatment for vitamin A cases, you need to give single dose, single oral dose of 200,000 international units vitamin A immediately at the time of diagnosis and followed by that another shot of 200 international units one to four weeks later. So that means the 2006 guidelines, they were saying one dose plus another dose, two doses of vitamin A. The second dose was to be given one to four weeks after the first dose. Is that simple? We take this 2006 guideline, but please remember I'm going to delete this guideline because this is an old guideline. It is not being updated. This guideline is currently available from the www.mohfw website. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare website where this is the link given and this link directly opens this letter. But please remember that this letter has not has been updated and the guidelines are updated. If you talk about the textbook of Park 25th edition page number 672, you can see that the Park textbook writes, we need to give 200 international units in two successive days. We need to give 200 international units on two successive dates. Can you see this? On two successive dates. Please remember this guideline is from WHO guidelines 24 uh, reference number. If you go and see the reference number that is also old guideline. So we are going to delete this guideline also. You're not supposed to remember this. What you're supposed to remember is the recent facility based management guidelines guideline from year 2011 updated in 2014, this is the FBNC facility based neonatal care guidelines. And also these are the NRC guidelines that is the nutritional rehabilitation center guidelines. These are also the IMNCI inter, uh, integrated management of neonatal and childhood illnesses IMNCI recent guidelines. So please remember this guideline. The guideline is that if the age is less than six months, we need to give 50,000 international units. If the age is 6 months to 12 months, 100,000 international units and if the age is more than 12 months, 200,000 international units. So now where the examiners can confuse you. So this is the recommended dose according to the child's age to all cases of severe acute malnutrition or for profile access. You already know this. But what if in case of, in case of what if in case of vitamin A deficiency? In case of beta vitamin A deficiency, you need to remember that the dosage remains same. Absolutely, the age group and the dose schedule will remain same. But we are supposed to give on day one, then day two, and then day 14. Day 14, technically common sense, it lies between one to four weeks, right? So the earlier uh, NPCB guidelines which are saying one to four weeks that stands true so we are giving on day one to four weeks between one week and four weeks we are technically giving on day, uh, week number two so this is what the guideline you need to remember there is another point where the examiners can trick you they can trick you that what if the age is more than 12 months like let us say that the age is more than if the age is more than 12 months but what if the weight is less than 8 kgs if the baby is if the child is malnourished if the even if the age is more than 12 months but if the weight is less than 8 kgs please remember the child will fall into 6 to 12 months category 100,000 international units 
hundred thousand international units even if the age is more than 12 months that is more than one year but if the age is less than 8 kgs we need to give only 100,000 international units so you've learned two points over here the first point was about the dose the second point is about the age third point point number three please remember that technically all this is for the oral dose oral dose is always preferred in case you are giving in case you are giving im dose as asked in this particular question im dose is technically uh, half of the oral dose right im dose is only half of the oral dose and im dose are all water based formulation water based formulations so can you remember these three points and also fourth point is that in case you are giving im dose it has to be it is given in case of severe anorexia edema with malnutrition septic shock or a very sick child so im dose will be half of the oral dose it has to be water based formulation if the age is less than 8 kgs you need to give 100000 and the dosage schedule you have already learned so with that i'd like to thank you so much for watching this module see you in the next uh, doubt solving session all the very best and bye bye